Alright, I'm shooting a video in my pump room because last time we had a hurricane, we lost power for three and a half days. The people up the street lost power for six days. Um, we had our tubs full of water and we could get by, but it's a lot more convenient to be able to flush your toilet just with the pump going as opposed to having to dip water out of your tub and throw it into the tank of the toilet. So, a well pump takes a lot of power because this is a 240 volt well pump, um, but it doesn't take too much energy because it only runs to 30 seconds every so often when it needs to fill up the pressure reservoir. So I need to figure out how much power does this thing actually take? What size inverter do I need to buy to be able to power it off of batteries? Um, and then I also want to figure out how many batteries I need to buy to be able to run it for a week or so. Now, the control box over there says HP1, and then it says volts 230. This is a 30 amp switch, and if you look inside of it, the fuses inside of there are also 30 amps. However, the wire inside doesn't look like 30 amp wire to me. So we're going to follow that wire up and out to the breaker box. So here in our panel, the well pump is on a 20 amp breaker. So we know that it's not going to be drawing more than 20 amps for a long period of time. Okay, let's do a little math. If we have one horsepower, that is approximately equal to 750 watts. So that's kind of a low end estimate. If our pump draws the full 20 amps at 240 volts, that's going to be 4,800 watts. So that's an upper limit on how much power we need to provide. So if we measure, we can find a more accurate number somewhere in between those. Okay. This thing here is an inexpensive AC clamp meter. You can buy them at just about any hardware store. If you clamp it around a wire, it'll tell you how much current is going through that wire. But, you can't just clamp it around something like this Romex. This guy has two conductors, the hot and the neutral. Currents flowing in opposite directions on those, so it cancels out. So you can't measure that. I could clamp it around these wires that go out to the pump. But after it goes through this box, that's some type of electronic control. I don't know if that's reducing the voltage or not. And all I can measure with this is amps. I know the voltage on the house wiring. House wiring is 240 volts, so don't touch. But if I can find a single wire, either the hot or the neutral, I can clamp this around it and then watch it while the pump runs. So inside this fuse box, there's live power. Don't touch. However, these insulated wires here, you put this around one of them, and now, when I trigger the well pump, it'll tell us how many amps are flowing through there. So the amp meter read just a little bit under 10 amps, and we know it's 240 volts, so that gives us 2,400 watts. So, our inverter needs to be able to generate 2,400 watts continuously, and because it's a motor, it probably requires a kick start, and so I'm going to say twice that, so 4,800 watts, for a surge power. So we're targeting an inverter somewhere in that range. Now remember, 1 HP on that control box, a horsepower is 750 watts. So I'm not sure what that 1 HP is talking about. Maybe 1 HP is the model number instead of a horsepower rating. But it's obviously using a lot more than 750 watts continuously. I used an inexpensive clamp meter to figure out how many amps the pump drew. Multiply amps times the volts and you get the number of watts that it draws. Now if you have it, there's an energy analyzer and that will give you everything all at once. It plugs into the volts and it has a clamp that will hook in for the amps. And basically, when that's plugged in, not only will it tell you the instantaneous power, but it will also watch the energy over a period of time, for several days, for example, and add up how much power your pump will draw over, for example, a month time period. So in this case, mine says it is 6 kilowatt hours for a month of running my pump. So it doesn't take a lot of energy, it just takes a lot of power to turn it on. 